This new Walk and Talk series, Tech Walk, explores the power of digital in transforming industries. Each video features on-site exchanges between industry insiders in a different part of the world. We begin at a coal mine in the Chinese Northwest, where Peter Arkell, chairman of the Global Mining Association of China, takes a walk with Jun Chu, CTO of Huawei Mining Business Unit. The two talk about smart mine solutions and the potential of ICT in the city of Yulin. It's 14 years since I've been in, into a, an underground coal mine. Yeah. Then it was filthy, it was, the workers come out looking like they are black. And then today, we go underground, everyone is clean, they're happy, people can eat down there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different working environment to what uh, it used to be only 14 years ago. Yeah, Peter, I think that's, that's what the technology brings to the workers. I think at the end of the day, that's one of the most important things to me. Yeah. So, to really improve the working condition of the miners. Now, you know, a family's not going to be upset if one member of the family is working underground. They know it's safe. They yeah. know it's clean. Yeah. And they've also got a job, which is more... Well, well paid job. Well paid, but also, <laughs> also uh, you know, it, more skilled. It's using their brain more. Yeah. It's, it's, it's engaging them more. It's not just pushing a button on a machine. Yeah. So I think it actually helps to attract workers. It's really become a technology job. Yeah. As you mentioned, push buttons, mm. looking in the control room, mm. writing software, data, data. On this side, you've got agriculture and mining. In fact, there's nothing we can do in our life <laughs> unless we grow it out of the ground yeah. or we dig it out of the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I call it? The sun never set industry. That's right. <laughs> or yeah. said, right? Yeah. Yeah. People talk about sound set, sound down in the this is the sound that's a, never set. That's a great point. Yeah, it's the sound never set. Yeah. The coal will remain a very important part for many, many years. Yeah. So that's why I think what we are doing right now uh, to help the miner, to work with them, to, to improve efficiency, this is going to have a long lasting effect. The technology you see today is not just applied to a coal mine. Yeah. Everything can be easily ported to other type of mines. I agree. Yeah. This is a very rich resource. Yeah. It's, it's a, the chemical compound in coal will yeah. be valuable in a whole bunch of different ways. Yeah. I'm sure we haven't even thought of yet. Yeah, it, it, is, it, is, it has become so efficient, actually. You look at today, right? Why ship? They only need probably five, six guys underground to operate those machines. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Everybody else above the ground. Actually, underground operators become, you know, a, a very, very small portion of the, yeah. the total workforce here. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is not a future. This is right here, right now. Technology yeah. can do all this, right? Mm. Today, you hear so many presentations, uh, talks from uh, the miners. Can you feel their vocabulary? Their vocabulary mm. become automation. Mm. Artificial intelligence, mm. data, data mining, data governance, yes. right? Uh, so even their vocabulary change, I think over the time people uh, will start to realize all, even the industry like mining is being transformed by technology, yeah. right? The mining industry is actually showing us how autonomous vehicles can operate safely yeah. and effic efficiently and so on anyway. So mining is actually so in some ways, mm. for a lot of the new applications that are just blossoming at the moment. Especially in the open car mine. Uh, I think commercial autonomous driving will be, uh, will be much faster than those consumer side of the house. Yeah. This is still a controlled environment, the closed environment. Mm. We can leverage, not only modify the, uh, the vehicle, but we can actually leverage the control on the road, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, autonomous driving will happen much faster on the commercial side of the house compared with consumer side. Yeah. Could your data center and your operators, could, mm. they, could they be sitting in another city? Could they be, could they be sitting in Beijing or in, uh, totally. in Shenzhen? Totally, totally. I think the China's and could uh, And could yeah. you be operating multiple mines yeah. from the one location? So a mining company, uh, uh, Shanxi uh, Mining International, could they have one center operating all of their mines, all the data coming in to the one place? Totally, 
I it's think wonderful, that isn't it? the technology is here, hmm. right? It's, it's the business, probably the technology will transform the, the business, even from a business operational model point of view. Yeah. Right? Somebody construct the mine, do all this uh, legwork, then the day in day out operation after that, Mm. will be controlled by another company. So the business model, the technology can do this to transform a different yeah. business model. Yeah. Right? What we're doing here is just like what uh, the space scientists are doing, sending Rover to, the, to Mars or, or to the moon and operating it down here on Earth. Exactly. Just the same. You, you launch in Florida, the control center in Houston, all in Pasadena. This is probably what happened. Well, the mines here, the control center there, the repair center somewhere else. Yeah. It's a very different uh, business model, operational model. End of the day, what technology brings to us is to improve human lives, right? That's the end of the day. That's the real meaning of why we have to develop the technology. We want to get better. It's really to improve our life. If one day we have unmanned, totally unmanned, underground mining, things will change even from ventilation point of view. Yeah. If there's nobody there, why you spend all those money to do ventilation? We don't have to have a three meter high uh, ceiling because yeah. there's nobody there. A lot of things that design right now, the mining uh, process, the mining operation is because mm. we are there. Yeah. If you take the human out of the constraint, yeah. probably the process will change upside down. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so we'll sure. see. We'll see. That for will sure. happen. We've got a great big planet. Yeah. It's full of resources. Good, good. But very, we've got to get to it. Very good, Peter. Thank you for coming. I, you, you know, let me see one more time. Really appreciate yeah, Appreciate it. Join us. Yeah. Uh, let's keep in touch. All right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you.